One of the viewers suggested a content in terms of how do you advocate yourself with maybe the clinical staff or your care team and doctors if you're a dialysis patient. So there are many reasons why you might want to advocate for yourself. Um, for example, if you're not being treated correctly or if you feel like your treatment is not being handled correctly, um, if they're injecting medicines in your machine that you're not aware of, um, or while you're sleeping, um, you have issues and concerns that makes you feel uncomfortable or badly. So um, there are many people that's part of their dialysis care team that can help you with this. And uh, also one key tip about advocating for yourself is understanding your own body, your health, your condition, and your treatment modality and how things are supposed to work. There are many resources that are available online and also on my channel here on this blog. You can also learn different tips to help you on Facebook support groups or social media that from other people's experience of how they work with different people on their care team. So we always encourage folks to go ahead and try and resolve the issue with the persons that you have issues with and just let them know because sometimes they're actually not aware of what they're doing or how it's affecting you. Um, if you feel uncomfortable doing that in your clinics, your social worker can be a very helpful resource in this area a lot of times in terms of letting them know how you feel. They do quality checks about how you're doing, how you're feeling. Your dietitians is more from the uh, diet aspects of things and also your labs. So you could always talk to them if you feel comfortable. Maybe there's a charge nurse at the clinic that you feel comfortable with or other techs that you feel more comfortable with. Um, talk to them, get their idea of what to do. At the clinics, there is usually a clinical manager or a facilities administrator for hemodialysis clinics. And those folks are in charge of the overall operation of the clinic and the staff. So those are always good go-to people as well if you can't resolve it at lower levels or you feel uncomfortable. And lastly, if you don't get anywhere with any of the center, local center staff or your doctors, um, and, and that's a good point in terms of your doctors and nurses, um, let them know how you're feeling, how you're doing. Uh, sometimes doctors come in and out of the clinic. They don't see everything going on. They don't see you as often. Let them know as well. Sometimes it can help you in terms of working with the clinical staff or the managers. So now if you, all those folks don't help you out and you still feel like you're not getting the treatment or the respect you need and whatnot, um, there is a thing called the ESRD network and they help CMS oversee various diagnostic clinic and patient care. They also have experts, doctors, nurses, patient advocates, uh, different volunteers as well that are trained to help evaluate your situation, give you advice, and also they could help mediate things with the different professionals that handle your dialysis care. So um, those are all options on here and I will leave some links below for support groups that are valuable to me that I'm a part of on a regular basis. Um, there are a couple that I'm an admin or a moderator for as well. Um, so you'll see me out there on the Facebook support groups. And then, um, yeah, check in with the ESRD network if you need advice or help um, away from the clinic. If you don't feel like talking to the clinical staff or don't feel comfortable talking to them, but we do encourage you to try and resolve it with the people that you have issues with first or at the more local levels if possible. I find that if I have conversations and regular interactions with all these different care team members and uh, I present a positive attitude and good questions that come to them um, and my concerns, um, I don't always have to be the most knowledgeable or educated, but if I'm friendly and presenting things myself in a very acceptable manner to other folks to where they don't block a shield, they have a communications block on me, uh, that tends to help. So uh, sometimes it may be after my treatments or after my sessions uh, when there's more time. And also keep an eye. Sometimes folks are just really busy or they have a bad day. They're humans as well uh, for the people that help take care of us in our dialysis treatments. So um, 
they're humans, they can have bad days, something could be bothering them or something could be happening to personally or at home with a loved one that they're thinking about and concerned with. Most folks try to be very professional when they're at work, just like I do with my job, uh, try to leave my personal things out of it, but it does happen. Everybody's still human. So understand that as well. Understand if they're busy or rushing around, it may not be the best time to talk to them. Sometimes you might want to sort of process and think about some of the things you want to address and talk about and how you want to present it and just sort of leave it alone when you're angry and mad. Um, let it process, go out, walk it off, listen to some music and then think about how you want to talk to folks and how you want to process it. But you do have a right as a patient to advocate for yourself. You do have a right to get knowledge on yourself and your treatment. So um, I hope these tips help. And if you have any other questions or if anything more specific to this topic, please do comment down below. If you have other content suggestions of things that you like to hear me talk about, definitely comment below. And if you're new to this channel, please help me in terms of subscribing and clicking that little ringer bell so that you get notifications when new vlogs are published and coming to you. So again, hopefully this is helpful for you. Keep up with your dialysis treatment so that you can do the things that you enjoy with the folks that you enjoy as much as possible. Thanks for joining me today and have a good one.